Hey everyone, this is Hammerbro Mike, and welcome back to Banjo Tooie, where uh, last episode uh, we finished off doing some stuff on floor four of this giant building of sorts. So now we're gonna go see Mumbo once again, which we saw him last episode as well, and we are going to do some stuff. It's gonna be some good stuff, I believe. Stuff of which that is good. You want Mumbo's help again? Yes. Aha. Alright, so I believe this... So this episode, we're still continuing on with Grunty Industries. And if I am good enough at Grunty Industries, we are going to finish off Grunty Industries. Because honestly, let's take a look. Let's take a look at our totals. So we got three more Jiggies to get. We have one more Cheeto page to get. Uh, ten more notes. Everything... Everything else is roughly in the same sort of... Well, the last two Jiggies we'll be getting uh, in this world, they're relatively around the same area, so they're going to be pretty easy to get. And the Cheeto page is pretty much by the... It's pretty much at the second... I mean, pretty much at the sixth boss. I don't know why... I, like the sixth world boss. Anyway, hope this works. EMP electromagnet. So there's a buto. There's a button on the opposite wall of this magnet, and as the washing machine transformation, which we will literally be transforming t into uh, momentarily, um, we still have to do stuff and more stuff and even more stuff. So. We have 90 seconds to get back over to... So we have to go back to Mumbo's, get back to the Baron Bird, then go see Humba Wumba to transform. And then we have to transform and press the button before time runs out. Ah. Alright. If I have the time, there's one thing I want to try. I want to check first, I, which I don't remember if I did or not. I just want to check real quick. I don't remember if I activated. No, I don't think I did. Nope, I didn't. I knew I was going to forget if I didn't do it now. So hopefully, hopefully I can get transformed in time. I think I gave Humba Wumba the Globo in this world already. I might be wrong. Regardless, I think we'll be fine. Okay, I didn't. Anyway. Yes, I know your usual spiel. Yeah, I know you're 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 cool and stuff. You're better than Mumbo. You have more magical powers than Mumbo Jumbo. And now we're the washing machine. Humba, Wumba called this washer. Use left stick to move and press L right trigger to fire plenty underwear. See underwear. Anyway, we don't have the time. We gotta get through here. And get through here. Man, I really cut it. Well, not really, but I mean, I cut it a bit close. So the basement, we can access it from the f first floor, but we're not going to go there quite yet. But that's pretty much all we needed to do for that, so Mumbo really helped us out there. We can fire underwear. It's pretty funny. Also, washing machine can survive in the toxic waste thing. So first things first, we gotta clean the workers' clothing. A washing machine, can you give my overalls a quick spin? Throw them inside and I'll give it a try. Is it safe? I don't want them to get ripped. Just drop your shorts, buddy. We haven't got all day. 
That wasn't a bad Kazooie impression. Just, just drop your shorts, buddy. No, no, I had it good before. Just drop your shorts, buddy. That's better. Find my five worker mates. Oh, okay, so the thing about the washing machine, which is unique about all the transformations in this game, is that the washing machine can't use warp pads, so we actually have to use the elevator in order to get to the different floors. So we literally have to go through here. Wait, actually, I just remembered about one of them now. Good thing I didn't leave yet, because I would have had to go on a wild goose chase. We gotta go through here. Down here. Jump over this. Make it through this path here. That'd be so rush if you don't mind. Sure. Man, what a whiny little bunny. He's just scared and cold. And now he's all happy. Alright, yeah, there's four more of you. Alright, so there... I believe there are three of them on... Oh, man. There's one on floor five, which we have to get to. So I'm going to use the elevator to get there. I'm going to take care of floor fives first. And I believe he's right by the Jinjo. Alright. Get away from me! Why is Banjo's head for floor five? Why is Kazooie's head for the warp pad on top of the building? Well, I mean, that I understand since Kazooie has to fly. Anyway, so we have to get through this door. So the Jinjo is on top of this box right there. Heavy soy wash, if you don't mind. Sure. But how- okay, so, look, he's all dirty and stuff. And then as soon as the, the clean suit gets on him, he's just... Wow, he's still... Oh, never mind. And then, you know, once the... I don't, I don't know. Like, take that. Uh, okay, we'll go to floor one. I didn't mean to go to floor one. So there's three more. Actually, I'm gonna go to... Go to floor three. So the one on floor three is in the boiler, the boiler room, which I believe we can get to. Yeah, that door straight ahead. Okay, I'm getting tired of your shenanigans. Oh, I missed. I I had a feeling I was gonna. Miss. Yep, I knew it. All right, just let me in. I just want to talk. Heavy soil wash, if you don't mind. Yeah, you, you, all of you say the same thing, pretty much, except for the first one, and then you guys, like, edit. Okay, so that's better. Try to find my... Okay, so... <sighs> Gosh. So there's one in the basement. Well, actually, well, I say basement, but it's more so the worker quarters. So, But the last two I have to get to from, from floor one, one of which is on floor one. Really? There we go. Yeah, the washing machine, not a very high jumper. There we go. All is good in the world of Hammer Bro Mike. His sanity will be sane. His sane will be sane. Yeah, he's literally right there, but we're gonna... We're gonna take care of this one. Oh, he's right here. For some reason, I thought he was through the Humble Wumba painting, which you actually can jump through. Great, I've got just one more skippy warrior made. Yeah, I know. I wonder if I can shoot it with... 
apparently not. Well, I'm gonna come back in here specifically to shoot that open. <sighs> All right. So that thing that we broke from above here. Anyway, it fell and then. Darn it. Well, it was on chains and stuff. And so on and so forth. Anyway. We couldn't reach without breaking it. Crusher status panel mark two. That's the whole team's overalls wash. We'd like you to have this. Um. Thank you for morphing the jiggy into your body. <laughs> Anyway, the washing machine is his usefulness to us is done. We don't have to be a washing machine anymore, which kind of sucks, but I like the washing machine. In this game, he doesn't look sad. If you see the wash, the secret washing machine transformation in t in the first game, he's like super sad, but this one is like really happy. Got bright eyes, bright googly eyes full of life and now we're back to a barren bird with a bear having big googly eyes all right so now oh boy um Time to go to the basement. So I'm just gonna get these notes here first. Even though we could get them on the way back, but it's gonna annoy me. There we go. Finally, all of the notes from Grunny Industries have been acquired. That will stop annoying me now because, believe me, it was really annoying to edit since I never collected all of the notes from Grunty Industries before. Alright. No, I wanted the Cheeto page! What's going on? Oh. Here we are at the boss. What on earth is that? I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. Well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor thing struggles to get in here? This shouldn't be much trouble then. You say that now, but he, he's actually a pretty fun boss. If I do say so myself. <sighs> Welder, visually impaired welding torch. Ahem, I believe it's states quite clearly in the workers guidelines that bears are not to la not to be let into the building so well you're a bear aren't you uh no so i must remember to wear my glasses well i'm out now so i might as well go to work on you oh cool. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Shoot a grenade to get into his mouth when he's inhaling and you t deal damage to him. Please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. Yeah, I get that. How about a few nuts and bolts? Man, I wonder if the. Man, I wonder if this boss fight was meant to be a reference to Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I doubt it. No. No. Don't make me come after you. Well, I mean, you're already coming after me, but... Aha. Her. 
There we go. He's halfway done. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? That's better. Now let's see how nimble you are. So basically, same... So basically, the last three hit... Well, pretty much this fight goes the exact same, only now there's an electrical barrier hampering your progress very much. That's when being invincible is such a good thing. I know. <laughs> I got my egg back! <laughs> that is funny. I've never done that before. Then again, I did poop it. There we go. Alright, one more hit. Okay. So yeah, I don't know, I, I always loved this boss fight. It was a hard one for me when I was a kid, mainly with the, the floor here, but I always found it to be a fun fight. There we go. Oh well, looks like my welding days are over. Kablooey. Blew up. And his head hit the thing, which is short circuiting or something. And then it's gonna blow up that thing. And then that spinning thing just stops moving forever and ever. And like everyone's happy and stuff. And yay. And now the fan stops moving, and there's a jiggy there, and it's just a good time all around. Groan, I appeared to be quite badly injured. That's bad, that's too bad, now where's our prize? Say, I guess I can let you have this. That is probably the best prize I've ever gotten from a boss. Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding! You may use it to get back out. I stashed my jiggy behind the giant fan for safekeeping, but there's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. Though when will I learn to keep my big mouth shut? You do have a big mouth. You look kind of funny from this angle. You look kind of normal from that angle, but you look pretty funny from that angle. Anyway. So where is that pad? First up, uh, let's heal. Healing is good for the mind and soul. Alright. Man, classic banjo climbing ladders. Reminds me of climbing up ladders in Rusty Bucket Bay. No, really it does. I still remember climbing... Climbing those huge ladders on the crane things. Alright. Alright. So we got a we got a Cheeto page to get over here. There we go. I'm gonna just tilt this camera around. Yeah, there we go. Just tilt that camera like that. You know, just, you gotta take advantage of the situation at hand and just conquer all your fears and everything. Alright, we have 69 jiggies. But that's not all. We're about to break the 69. But I want to heal first, because why not? This is where the shack pack comes into play. Because we got another one. 70. There we go. Now 
You know, it's a faster way of going about it, but that's just my opinion. So now we have... So we have basically just completed Grunty Industries. We got all the Jiggies. Uh, well, we got everything, so it's like we got everything. We got everything, you know? Um, but yes, we have acquired what has been needed to be acquired. Uh, we got the Cheeto page, we got 70 Jiggies. All in all, it's a good time. It's a good time all around. And speaking of which, we could do something right now, but I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna hold off on it for right now. Mainly because it's... I mean, we can, but I kinda wanna just keep... Keep something spoiler-free for right now. And just wait until we get to that point. Hi. Bye. So with that, we have... We have done quite a bit. <laughs> yes, we have done quite a bit. <laughs> anyway. Um, next episode, we are going to continue on through the worlds. Next time, we're going to be tackling... Uh, well, we're going to be continuing uh, friggin' fracking, fruple frupping, uh, Hailfire Peaks, yes. Lose my train of thought. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye!